million people using the website. Today, eight months later, there are nearly 69 million, and they spend $59 million every day. And eBay CEO Meg Whitman says it's only the beginning. I think it is a really innovative and unique concept that fundamentally is a better way to buy and sell. I think we have the potential to fundamentally change um, the way people do things. eBay seems to have tapped into something uniquely American and entrepreneurial. It's an auction house that never sleeps, where anyone can be a buyer or a seller. I think I am most surprised by the fact that we have become the largest site on the web for the buying and selling of used cars, motorcycles, and auto parts. You have to remember that in September of 1998, 8% of the items on eBay were Beanie Babies. Four years ago. Four years Four ago. Four years ago. So from Beanie Babies to Beamers, I'm not sure that anyone would actually have predicted that. You sell a motorcycle every 18 minutes. Correct. And an SUV every 30 minutes. And it's not just for people who want to buy something. As many as 150,000 people have literally given up their jobs to create their own businesses selling on eBay. eBay gives us access to the world. You can find yes. anything. You can find it at a price yeah. you can afford. Exactly. This group of bargain hunters are devoted eBay users from all over the country. Their loyalty and enthusiasm is what has helped build eBay into the powerhouse it is today. I've gotten to the point now where I look to eBay for anything I need in the house before I go out, including Tupperware, yep. uh, small appliances, clothing, Christmas gifts, wedding gifts, Father's Day gifts, whatever it is, I go to eBay first. What is it that makes this so compelling? It's a gamble. It, it, it is a gamble. There's a little bit of gambling. You're gambling. Am I, am I going to get the auction? Uh, yes, 95, 85, win the back with 95. An eBay auction works exactly the same way as an old-fashioned one. The highest bidder wins. Sold $25. But eBay doesn't look anything like this. There is no auctioneer, and the auction comes to you. Here's Mike Benson, a lawyer from St. Louis. He's looking for a rare baseball card of Stan Musial. In seconds, he finds 84 different Stan Musial cards up for auction on eBay, including one for the very card he wants. To bid, he simply enters the highest amount he's willing to spend. In this case, $50. And when it was over, Mike lost the card to a higher bid of $63. Every time there's a sale, eBay takes a cut of the action. The result, eBay's market value is now worth more than Bloomingdale's, Macy's, Sears, and Toys R Us combined. Why has it been the most successful company to come out of the internet revolution? It was an entirely new idea that took advantage of the net. There's no land-based analog for eBay. We hold no inventory. We ship no product. That's right. No inventory, no products. Yet, eBay has created a marketplace like no other. Why am I running away? A place where a Madonna fan can buy this outfit from her world tour. Where you can buy your own hazmat suit or a thousand pounds of candy. Or a country house in New York State with its very own missile silo. The winning bid was two million one hundred thousand one hundred dollars. Sixteen million items are up for sale every day. And eBay users aren't just buying and selling, they're also talking online in chat rooms. I spend 12 to 15 hours a day. 12 I, to 15 I boot hours? up between 8 and 9 o'clock in the morning, and I usually shut down about 2. I we spend you. more time together on the boards than I do with my own family. <laughs> I'm not sure that's good. Yeah. <laughs> well, but, but we need you to might want to edit that part yeah, I think. Yeah, It's way too big. <laughs> Laura Liss is taking advantage of the 69 million people who use eBay. She wants to know if it'll fit a D. No, I don't think so. I'll try it on. What Four about? years ago, she began selling discounted designer clothes and shoes which she picked up on sale at department stores. It's definitely flexible for a larger bust, for sure. Okay. Now the entire List family is part of the action. Here's how they work it. Laurie models an outfit. Her sister snaps the picture. Her brother-in-law puts it on eBay. As the bids start coming in, her mother monitors the auction. She'll wake up in the middle of the night, and she'll be like, did you see the bid? I'm like, mother, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Go to bed. What are you doing up? 
The shipping department is in the kitchen where mom and dad are packing boxes to send around the globe. They keep their inventory, their Prada shoes, their Gucci's and their Chanel's in the garage. They ran out of room in this one, so they just bought three brand new houses all in a row with their eBay profits. We don't do it to make a fortune. We, we do it just so we can stay home. I stay home with my son. She's at home. You know, it's like we all just work together and it's like we have a good time. Who was the photographer on this one? Well, I told you that the clip was in the way. And a good family business. They've become so established on eBay, they no longer have to go looking for bargains. The deals come to them. Department stores have found a new way to move merchandise. The day the manager tells the salesman, hey, this stuff's going to get marked down, you know, 50% tomorrow, our phone rings. They call us. The stuff's going on sale on Wednesday. Pull us this, pull us that. We know all the shoes. So they, we <laughs> them pull everything. They pull it all, and they just ship it to us. You have to go in and tell them what you want. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> they know what we buy, and they yes. know what we sell. Yeah. And a lot of them look at our sites. They know you can move those products. Exactly. How quick do you put it on eBay? Sometimes uh, within 10 minutes. <laughs> I mean, it depends. Right? I had a Prada shoe. I got home with it, took a picture, listed it, and I think 17 minutes it was purchased. I had it go into Germany in less than an hour. It was already on its way. Boy, you love doing this, don't you? Yeah, it's fun. What's fun about it? It's almost like gambling in Vegas because you'll buy something and you'll think, oh, these are going to be really hot. And that's how eBay got really hot. About a year ago, eBay started something they call Buy It Now. Sellers no longer had to set up an auction. They could sell retail directly to the customer, just like Lori List did with her Prada shoes. And that's when the heavy hitters came on the site. Now, IBM sells home computers on eBay. No costly overhead, no store, no sales staff. Disney offers vacations and all things Mickey and Minnie. With all this action, eBay has hit the jackpot. Profits are up 71% from this time last year, over a quarter of that from these direct sales. With respect to big companies, big companies do sell on eBay, and they find it to be a very cost-effective distribution channel. But they sell on the same terms as you as an individual would sell. And you're not going to give them anything special? No we advertising, aren't. no promotion, no whatever? We aren't. And the reason is that we think it's important to have this level playing field. So your neighbor next door has an equal chance of success as a large corporation. That democratic idea, the core principle of the company, comes from this man, Pierre Omidyar. At 35, he's now worth about four and a half billion dollars. He started eBay as a hobby. I sat down, frankly, over uh, Labor Day weekend, 1995, after having kind of thought about these issues for, for a couple of months. Um, and I sat down over Labor Day weekend, uh, and I just whipped up some code. And by Monday afternoon, Labor Day, I had the site up. How big can it get, you think? This is something I think we have, you know, we have a duty to, to bring to as many people as we can. And the number is unlimited. I think it's, I think over time it's... Technology can handle it. That's right. That's right. And to maintain order in this brave new world, Omidyar developed a feedback system rating customer satisfaction. The reputation of a seller is critical. Too many negative comments and you're banned as an eBay seller forever. eBay does investigate fraud claims, but relies mainly on buyers and sellers to police themselves. I really started the company on the notion that people are basically good, that if you give someone the benefit of the doubt, you're rarely disappointed. How often do people not deliver on their promise? You know, it's very, it's very rare. Historically, it's been, you know, 30 out of a million transactions. 30 out of a million? Yeah. Can you challenge Walmart? Well, remember, we have a different business model. I think we can challenge Walmart in terms of the economic activity that takes place on the site. Our business model is to connect buyers and sellers. And so, ultimately, our buyers and sellers may do more economic activity than a Walmart, but it is not one group of people deciding what to buy. It is the power of many sellers. The power sellers. And thousands of successful sellers from all over the world showed up at eBay's first national convention in Anaheim last summer. And the company had a reward 
for its big sellers. Beginning this fall, we'll make it possible for power sellers to access low-cost, premium health insurance, including vision, dental, and pharmacy coverage. Great. It brought tears to my eyes Aww. when I heard that. A fitting reward for all the average Americans who started new businesses on eBay in the past few years. The mom and pop outfits were selling treasures from the attic, the garage, or wherever else they find it. They are the backbone of eBay. They think you work for them. And we they do. They think they are eBay. Well, you know what? They are. And we actually do work for them. Um, that is not a myth. That's not a PR spin. That actually happens to be the case. And it's the soul of eBay. Corporate, but populist, too. Yes. By the people, for the people.